G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Today's video is going to be about the Snook Pack Special Forces Bivy. Uh, let's have a look. Everything written down for this one. So this is the Snug Pack Special Forces Bivy bag. Let's give you a close look at this. On the actual bag itself, it says Special Forces waterproof sleeping bag cover. 100% waterproof, centre zip half length, uh, part of the Special Forces system must not be completely sealed suffocation risk. The actual package, the bag it comes in, you can stuff it in, it's not easy easy but it's not difficult, but it will go back in there. I don't roll anything, I just like things where I can stuff it in, do it up, and there it is. And it will go even smaller, so that just shows you that there is room for more. A little grab handle at the bottom, this is a little Velcro one. So if you wanted to, you could put that through your, your molly webbing or through a carabiner or anything or a loop and do that back up and that's going to be secure. Now this comes in, I think, comes in four different colours. I've got the coyote, you get into olive green, I think they do it in black, I think they do it as uh, like a sand colour. And I think there is one other colour also, but I'm not certain. But where I got this from, uh, Survival Supplies Australia here in Australia, they have the olive green and they have the coyote brown, which is one I've got. So, uh, this, as you read all this first, get this out of the way and then I'll show you as we go. Half centre zip for quick and easy access, they say. 100% uh, waterproof fabric with hydrostatic head in excess of 5,000. So they reckon that anything over 1,500 is classed as waterproof. And this is 5,000 millimeter hydrostatic head. And the material I believe it's made out of is a Paratex dry, taped and sealed seams, breathable, it will transmit up to 7.5 liters of moisture per meter square per 24 hours. Soft to touch, which it's not one of those hard, crinkly, it makes a bit of a noise, but it is a fairly soft one. Uh, there we got, yeah, so the do -do -do -do, supplied with a stuff sack, which is in there. Out of, out of fabric is treated with durable water repellent. Uh, they say that water repellency can be maintained by a cool tumble dry after washing and periodic uh, retreatment with suitable aftercare products uh, such as Nick Wax and Granger's. I actually use the Granger's Wash and Repel uh, but I haven't washed this yet and it's about a year old. I've used it through, uh, where are we? Yeah, I've used it through winter last year, came into sp spring, I've used it all the way through summer, uh, used it into autumn last year too. And like I said, it's over a year of use on the Big Woman track, staying in shelves like this or up with just a ground sheet underneath me, and it's still in good nick. Well, that's pack size 14 centimeters by 10, which is that by like that. And the weight is only 340 grams. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, they put that breathable thing. Uh, Snug pack bivy bags have a solid coating and although designed to be breathable, sufficient air cannot pass through the fabric to sustain breathing. Care should be taken not to completely seal any bivy bag system so as to prevent suffocation. So that's all their stuff, that's all being read out. So now let's have a look at 
let's go through it. So, yeah, bag as you draw cord to keep it closed, which is a decent one. And there's a top hole out there. Now, I don't normally keep it in this. I've only put it in that to show you what it comes in and what you can store, and that it does go in there. They say they're YKK zippers, I think. There's no YKK stamped on them. But the zippers, they will get scagged every now and then in these. But very little, very little. Condition, quality wise, it's, they're pretty good quality. I think they're about a number five if you do sewing or anything like that. So the thread's slowly coming loose a bit there after the year's use all the time, but in general it's all in good condition. We've got a draw cord at the top. It's not, not a bungee, that's just like a, a small like a power cord. So you can do that up and cinch up the hood like a normal uh, mummy sleeping bag. The shape of this, it has got a bit of a mummy shape to it. It's not square, so it does taper in. And these flaps on top, they're supposed to help with the waterproofing. And I've seen a few people mention this one being folded over there. And they reckon it oh, wouldn't be better to be all the way flat. Well, the idea of this they use on some tents is if the wind's blowing and it's raining, it'll hit that, and that's that way, over, fold it over, and that'll lift that up. And the water will hit here and drain off rather than going over and into the zip. So it's going to reduce the chance of water penetrating the zip when it is raining. There's a, the zip pull on the inside too, so it's a double zip pull there and on the outside. They're probably on the front. You could put another one on the inside, which they didn't come with. But that would be handy if there was another one on the inside, because trying to grab that at night can be a bit of a pain. And you'll see here all the tape seamed. So it makes all the stitching waterproof. And what's they say here? It's just their label. Yep. Oh, so we've got the, sti the stitching in general is really, really good. This is that one at the top of the zip, which it didn't finish up very good, I think. Or is it, like I said, it could have been just coming loose over, over where, I never noticed it. Oh, I've got one there. Just do a bit of trimming back and melting, and that'll be okay. But this hasn't let me down. And the zip. Down to, sorry. That's it, down to there, which is not quite halfway, but almost halfway. If you're going to do the same as me and put your sleeping bag inside, which does fit with me with my sleep uh, with my sleep uh, not sleeping bag the sleeping pad you only really can fit a a regular mummy shaped one you can't fit well, you can fit a large one in there but it's really tight because it prevents the size lifting up where your regular comes here and your large comes there so there's very little movement on the top material where when you get the regular one you've got a lot of movement and you've got plenty of room. So really you only want the regular size sleep mat in this. But you have the length, there's plenty of length here. They do come in an extra long, which is about another, I think about another six inches in length. And like I said, I've used it for just over 12 months now. I've had no issues with it. Uh, condensation, I haven't had any yet. I don't fold the top up all the way so it's really tight. 
But one thing I have noticed is they, they don't say it, but it has increased my uh, thermal rating of my sleeping bag. First of all, I used uh, in the winter the coldest point was just below zero, and I used in a minus seven, which is 20 degrees Fahrenheit, so minus seven degrees centigrade, minus six, top quilt, the down one, and I was overheating. So I had to undo the zip, and I used it as a regulator. As soon as I undid that zip, the temperature leveled off and came down, and it was more comfortable. I've done the same with using my snug pack jungle bag. I've been able to use that down to the rated temperature of the 7 degrees centigrade. But I've also taken it a little bit lower whilst I've been in this. But when I open that zip, depending on how far down I think it, I can regulate my actual body temperature using the bivvy and the sleeping bag. Now, would I buy another one of these? Personally, yes, I would. I see myself buying one. Well, the way this is holding up at the moment, it's going to be a few years before I need to buy another one. So, if I had the money spare, yes, I would buy another one, probably in the olive green colour. But yeah, it's a real nice sleeping bag, sleeping bag kind of whatever you want to call it. And I could recommend it, to be honest. So, if this video has helped you make your mind up one way or another, and you've enjoyed the video, and you're not already a subscriber, please go down below and click on the subscribe button. Click on the notification bell beside that, and select all, and click the thumbs, button, the thumbs up, the like button. And if you are already a subscriber, again, I thank you very much. So until next time, get out there, have some fun, and take care.